Hi, yes, hello, and welcome to my second channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. So, here's the skinny. If you don't know, I turned 30 on April 7th, and Hubbin looked at me, he said, what do you want for your birthday? And I said, Hubbin, I want to go to Walt Disney World. I have never been. Now seems like the best time. I want to experience all the things. And so that's exactly what we did. And of course, I wanted to bring you along with me in case you've never been, in case you're planning on going. Regardless, I'm happy you're here. I hope you take your meds, have some water, and I can't wait to take you along with me to Walt Disney World. We're going to Magic Kingdom. I've got me Ariel. So we have um, a whole list. My priority today is Ariel. That's number one priority. And then number two priority is all the other available princesses. So we'll see what rides we can get to today. But I'm eating Ariel. I'm eating Ariel. There's a squirrel. I want to be the first one off this bus. I'm going to elbow all the children to get to, to get into Magic Kingdom. We just got through security. So now we're going to scan like our little wrist bag. Anyways, I just need to prepare everybody. I'm going to twirl. I'm going to skip. I'm going to frolic. And some dare say, even have the time of my motherfucking life. All right. Hi, Hi welcome. Happy birthday. Thank you. I love your nails. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. So we're talking about how the little riding scooters going to have, like, they own little Disney license plate. I think that's so cute. Who the hell is old Gertrude just going to take off to? <laughs> This is the road that is going to lead directly to Cinderella's castle. I am prepared to cry today, and I just need you to also be okay with me crying today. Is that it? Oh, I'm nervous. Here, I'm gonna walk. I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. Instead, I'm gonna walk backwards. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready. I have dreamed of this moment ever since I was a little girl. And so the fact that like I'm turning 30 and I'm about to see Cinderella's castle and meet Ariel, like, I'm so freaking excited. Like, should I keep walking? Like, where do you think the perfect spot to turn around is, Hubbin? Like, Anywhere. since you can see, really? I'm gonna go in three, two, one. It's huge! Holy shit, it's, it's like for real Cinderella's castle. That's crazy. I feel like a little peasant. I feel like a little, little court gesture. Jester, not gesture, jester. Walking around a little peasant streets. Oh my god. And there's so many places to take pictures. Crystal arts? We also have that in Tennessee, but unfortunately for us, it's usually crystal math. It's just still so cool. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. the Disney bubble because you can't see anything but what's right here in the park. I just think I could stand right here all day. I mean, I need to meet Ariel, but I feel like I could stand right here all day and not get tired of it. I guess previously it was at Bippity Boppity Boutique and the fairy godmothers would pixie dust you, but I guess they don't do that anymore. But that's okay because they still pixie dust and that's what's important. Are you gonna get pixie dusted? Yes. Oh, but special birthday wish? Yeah, special birthday wish. <laughs> okay. Do you Yeah, sure, absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, close your eyes, think about it really, okay. really hard. With a little bit of faith, trust, and pixie dust may all your wishes and dreams come true <gasps> thank you so much fun ah! 
I can't tell you what my special magical birthday wish is because then it won't come true. I was thinking about Mickey pretzels when it happens, so like, I have faith that that wish can come true. here every every joint moves which I know they're known you know the Imagineers are known for their animatronics but it's so cute and fun it's just all magical and then like the rides every ride we've been on like a seat will spin you around to make you focus on something else so then something the next thing that's coming up is brand new for you and that's really cool you're definitely not under stimulated here I'll put it to you like that I I'm excited about riding Dumbo because that's another classic and like it's a small world. <laughs> Let's ride Dumbo! Happy birthday! Thank you! Oh, this is fun! Oh my god, okay, you know what? Kind of scary. We want to stay up high? No! So we actually just got off Space Mountain. I think I have learned the difference finally between like a theme park and like a thrill park, I guess. Like it was a really smooth roller coaster. It was really pretty, a whole bunch of stars, Space Mountain. And it was just a lot of fun. Um, I would definitely do it again, but I'm kind of hungry and I'm gonna eat my weight in Mickey pretzels now. We are headed to meet Ariel. And I'm so stinking excited that every character meet and greet is like a unique experience. The magic isn't ruined and I love it so much. I'm the first to meet her today. Oh my God. Really welcome in. Really? All the way down? Uh huh. Oh, I'm freaking out. 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 Hi, friends. so much. We got all kinds of celebrations today. Oh, girl, you have no idea. We have done Epcot and Hollywood Studios, but I don't mean to, no pressure, but 
I have waited my entire life to meet you. Well, I hope I can help celebrate with you today then. After all, I always love to have celebrations in my kingdom. Sebastian always writes the best songs. So maybe I'll have him write some songs for you later today? I would love to do oh, that with perfect. him. Perfect. After all, I do have rehearsal with him later, which is why I have my tail this morning. I met Ariel and it was magical. I have plans to go dancing with her and Sebastian later, so no big deal. And yeah, so it's uh, 10.05 in the morning and I'm done with Magic Kingdom, so heaven, we can go home. It turns out we couldn't just go home because there were more princesses to meet. In my kingdom, we like to set off floating lanterns to celebrate. So I tried that once. You did? Awful idea for me. Oh, no. Had a small fire, put it out, no worries. But fire safety is important. Very important, of course. Yes. Especially if you're in the woods, too. I wonder if Eugene would have a way to fix that, though. Is he around? Where Can we find him around today? He's actually... Adventuring? He is. He, he likes to gallivant through the forest sometimes. <laughs> Teaching Pascal how to use frying pans, too. Ready? Ready. There it is. That's the smolder. What do you think? Perfect. Say Eugene. Eugene! We got a lot going on, girlfriend. Now, I see you're celebrating the birthday today. Yes. Well, and your first time here in the kingdom. Yes. 30 years old, it's time for me to join the princesses for real, for real. Well, of course, sure. So. Well, in that case, we're going to have to make 30 beignets, 30 bowls of gumbo. Makes sense. While all that food is cooking, well, we can even do a bit of dancing together. I would love to do that. Well, you know I did learn a brand new dance move the other day. Would, would you like to learn it today? Absolutely, I would. Oh, all right. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. We'll place our hands just like this. Just like this. Then pretend the mental health people have Okay. But add just a bit of New Orleans jazz, too. All right. Oh, a little bit of shoulder action. <laughs> I see we're having quite some celebration. I'm going to bust that out later. So I just met Rapunzel and Princess Tiana, and they were the nicest people on the whole planet. We got 30 beignets getting cooked, 30 bowls of gumbo, and the problem is I, uh, there's a lot more friends on the Hot Mess Express than 30. My first Mickey pretzel. I'm big excited about it. And of course I got the cheese sauce. But, but anyways, I got my Mickey pretzel. So I've met Ariel. Well, I've met many princesses, but Mickey pretzel about to go down. Okay, so our next stop is apparently a rite of passage, but it hasn't been updated since the 70s. So let's see what it's all about. From what I understand, it's like so bad it's good. Kind of okay, we have officially taken off on It's a, Oh, we're like in the water for real, for real. Can we talk about how that ice skating motherfucker's going fast as fuck, boy? Why does it smell like wet cardboard? Could you imagine, like, I don't know, dropping acid or something when doing this? When was the last time showing your ankles was scandalous? It's somehow so much to look at, but not a lot at all. Look at the fucking penguins though. Get the fuck into it. We are currently stuck on It's a Small World. Like there is a backup of, uh, backup of boats. Um, we found out like a couple months ago, this person like got naked and walked through like you can the water's not that deep obviously anyways i'm gonna be honest depending on how long you're stuck on this son of a bitch i could say just getting naked and getting the fuck out of here <laughs> the guy behind us is taking a nap i'm so over it how do i make a bubble there we go. I wish that 
they had like little booths that you could rent out to like soundproof booths that you could rent and like take a quick nap and then wake up and like go again. I could really use a big nap, but that's why we're on Big Thunder. Hopefully that'll wake us back up. Oh yeah, we're in the front, by the way. Upside down, like it's still six foot. No, this is not part of the ride. But when it takes off, we're going straight downhill. just wait about 45 minutes to an hour in that line for that ride to not break once not twice but thrice during our one time you come to disney world not expecting to get on a thrill ride not expecting the world's best roller coasters then you're fine you're gonna have an amazing time maybe if it was one continuous ride instead of three mini rides for us today we'd feel differently but i'm excited about tron later After the experience that was Big Thunder, it was basically time for a parade, some shopping, and then getting ready for the fireworks. Some people have a talent of like making cool stuff like that. And then there's people like me who make fart jokes on the internet. By the way, at Disney, getting ready for fireworks means finding a really good seat. fireworks we are doing Tron and so big excited about that even though I haven't seen the movie I heard it's gonna be beautiful at night what a good time I'm just big excited that all and I'm definitely gonna cry about it <laughs> Your old woman crying at fireworks that haven't even happened I'm gonna bubble so fucking hard <laughs> obvious by my face or not but I may have cried just just a little bit during the fireworks show and by a little bit I mean multiple times and very hard <laughs> I've seen the TikToks and things of the castle coming to life and I don't know it's just different it's just it's just fucking magical <laughs> I clearly can't talk about it yet because I keep crying about it so it was just really freaking cool and unlike any other fireworks show that I've ever seen and so that was big cool, and now we're gonna get to go to Tron. They are currently boarding groups 149 to 160, and we are group 165, so we are coming up. 
I'm so glad we didn't get it until nighttime. For real, for real, this is about to be really cool. So I had the Mickey pretzel. I haven't found a Dole Whip yet, but I've also read online that I need to have a Mickey churro. I do have the chocolate dipping sauce, but my hands are full. So a little ASMR on the microphone. Big fam, big fam. Okay, that's it. A Tron was pretty badass. We, I wasn't able to film. They don't allow the wrist straps, only chest pieces, and I don't have a chest piece. Um, so anyways, that was really just cool and pretty. It really is like a little Disney bubble, like, you don't think about anything else other than what you see, and all you see here is Disney and just fun, happy vibes. I'm definitely not ready to go back to the real world. There might be some people out there that's like, oh my God, like you're, you turned 30 and you went to Disney. Like, oh my God, you turned 30 and you were crying at a fireworks show. Listen, I can't help it that you're unhappy people. Get a hobby, like something. I'm just hanging out. No worries with my little bubble friend. How do we get line for this shit? Bubble. I love it. I love it. I love making little bubbles. It's fun. I'm 30 years old. $285,000 hairs. United States dollars. What do we kind of look like? So we are wrapping up our trip to Magic Kingdom today. We just took some cute little pics in front of Cinderella's castle as a uh, castle? Castle <laughs> as it's lit up at night. It has been a long day, <laughs> but um, a fun one, a magical one. I had a wonderful time. And while this has been so much fun, I'm definitely ready to get home and see my little angel babies. cutie patooties okay well this wraps up our trip our birthday trip to disney stick around i hope you like and subscribe because we got the whole epcot experience with drinking around the world and uh something that might be a little surprising that you probably don't know about if you have heard of drinking around the world but never experienced it so like subscribe stick around links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the youtube of and i'll see you right back here in the next video bye